So do you all remember that story of the 11 year old boy who called the police officers because his mother was being attacked and once the police comes they say okay hands up put your hands in the air and then the police who becomes trigger happy shoots in the chest the 11 year old boy he ended up living but still now we have a situation here where the mother could possibly lose custody of her child because of domestic violence mind you she was not hitting on her child she was being hit on by a man that she had relations with in the past okay and the new solution is to just take away the child we have an article here today let's get into it mother could lose custody rights after police officer shot her 11 year old son a sunflower county mississippi woman could lose custody rights to her children nearly a year after the indianola police officer shot her then 11 year old son darian murray in the chest at the family's home in may 2023 the court filings, Sunflower County prosecuting attorney Gwendolyn Jemison cited the shooting while accusing Nicola Murray of neglecting her three children. So that's where they're trying to get this to turn. They're trying to say, okay, this is the case of neglecting, okay? And, you know, you look at what happened to her son and all this, all of this would have been prevented. That's where it seemed like they're trying to spin and turn this around. But let's continue to have to. And this is a quote to have to even think of losing her kids at this point over something that is not her fault is just unbelievable. It is outlandish. OK, and this is what the attorney of the mother said. And it is. To me, I feel it is absolutely ridiculous because you're saying that she neglected her children because, and we're going to get into the details of it, but you're saying she's neglecting her children and then you're like, oh, well, we got to take the kids away. Jemison filed papers in the Sunflower County Youth Court against Nicola Murray that alleged an unnamed witness saw Murray's ex-boyfriend, John Nolden, frequently assaulting her in front of her kids. So that's where they're getting this. Okay. They're saying, okay, we have this mystery person that said he is constantly assaulting you. He's doing it in front of the kids. I don't find this to be a safe space at all. The petition says the witness said the shooting of the 11 year old boy was the result of the mother and boyfriend domestic violence that has, that has been happening for years. So the boy went and called the police. The police officer shot the boy. OK, did not injure um, the ex-boyfriend, Nolden, or the mother, Murray. OK, did not hurt them, hurt him. But this person is saying, um, you know, went to the courts for it. Obviously, this person is saying because the ex-boyfriend was going and beating the ex-girlfriend, this is what kept allowing the violence to ensue. And so the kid, as a result of that, got shot and got hurt. All right. So that's where the story is trying to turn it. Last year, Moore told the Mississippi Free Press that a Darian Murray called 911 late on the evening of May 20th, 2023, after he heard Nicola Murray crying and asking him to call for help after Nolden, who she was no longer with at the time, showed up at the house. When the capers arrived at the home, Moore said the police officer commanded everyone put their hands up and a Darian Murray walked out with his hands up, did exactly what the police officer instructed him to do and everyone to do. The lawyer said Capers then shot the 11 year old boy in the chest. He survived after a hospital stay. The Indonola Board of Aldermen voted to suspend Capers without pay in June 2023 but he remains an employee of the police department after a grand jury declined to indict him over the shooting on December 14th, 2023. Murray must report to the Sunflower County Youth Court 
on April 17th to defend her right to continue to have custody of her three children. Golden fathered one of Adarian Murphy's siblings and will also have to appear in court to defend his custody rights. Okay, that's a bit odd to me. I get you're still a father, but you were beating this woman up. You know, and then they're saying, well, because you are a victim of domestic violence, then that's your responsibility to get out of your situation. Part of it is, yes, you know, there are some kind of programs that are available for women and children, you know, victims of domestic violence and, you know, abuse in that way. So that is available. But you're saying that, well, it's not necessarily your fault, but you did fall victim to it. So, I mean, if you don't get out of the situation, that's on you, which to me is extremely upsetting. You know, it's like you look at it, it's like the state, in a way, the state was trying to take her kid by force, by shooting an unarmed black boy who was actually listening to everything that you said and followed your words to a T. And now it looks like the courts are trying to do the same. But let me know what you all think about said story down below.